I don't know. Are you a Muslim sister or or I don't know. You're not a Muslim, but you're wearing the niqab. Okay, so I don't know. Yes. How can I help you? Hi. I just want to say I'm honored to talk to you. Okay, I've, I appreciate it. Um, I am an ex-Christian. I have studied the Christian Bible. It's the only Bible I've been introduced to, and studying it, um, it contradicts itself. I just wanted to let you know I'm learning about the Quran. Um, I love the concept of the niqab, um, but I I still know the Christian Bible more than the Quran. My family does not accept me converting if I were to. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing this because I love the concept of it. I love, I feel protected. Um, I wish Christians applied this into the their religion. Um, and I guess my question is, is, um, uh, Okay, so I don't believe Jesus is God, and okay. I think that's the right way. And it's okay. because Jesus is idolized and glorified more than the Creator. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that my grandmother is very strong religious Christian. She'll tell me, like, you know, the blood of Christ cleanses us. But I go back to a Christian scripture. It says, the bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. So it it contradicts itself because Jesus blood is supposed to cleanse Christians but the bloodthirsty hate the upright. So I feel like the blood is in the you know what I mean like it's, Yes, yes, it's a contradiction. It's a contradiction. It's contradicting. Yeah. I studied the Christian Bible like no other. Like not even just breaking it down I have a book that says who's who in the Bible the names of everyone the like everything and I turned to the Quran. My dad actually believed it was Muslim, learned Arabic to read the Quran. Um, he unfortunately died, uh, bless. But um, I feel called to the Quran. And I just wanted to let you know, as a Christian, I'm learning about your information, your videos, and turning into, converting into Islam religion. It helps me so much. I was recommended by someone on YouTube to your channel. And you are inspiring. And um, I'm sorry you deal with so much with people. And But I, I just want to let you know, like, I, as an ex-Christian, believe the Quran is a lot more simpler and more understanding. You can understand it better. And um, I'm sorry if I wasted your time. I know you're looking for... No, 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 absolutely not. We're always happy to hear these type of things, right? But when you, when you say, like, the only thing, so you, essentially, are you saying the only thing stopping you from being a Muslim is, like, the family and the reaction? Is um, that what you're saying? Or? Um, yeah, because I'm learning the Quran, and, I mean, the Christian Bible talks about pure language and the Quran. I'm reading the English version, so I know that you said that the interpretation with language sometimes get distorted. Um, hopefully, the Christian version, I mean, the English version mm -hmm. um, is easier for me to read and I, I get the same information that in, as the Arabic language would. But um, ultimately, I just wanted to say that I am no longer a Christian because I don't think Jesus is God and I don't want Jesus to die for sins. Mm -hmm. I, if The Christian Bible says sin is of the devil. Jesus um, did die for sins, then he would be dying for people who were going to hell, I'm guessing. But I never understood the concept of Jesus being the only begotten son. Like, we are all sons and daughters of God, Allah. And Allah is the creator. And I want to worship the creator more than the example of someone dying for our sins. Um, I also feel like people have this misconception. Like, Christians talk so bad about Muslims. And it's so sad. Like, it's a stereotype behind it the historical times and if oh you'll be beat if you're muslim if i wear my mom told me if i wear this in public i'm a target and they'll try to fight me and i i told her like you're not going to allow you're not going to put me in fear of what i want to believe in i live in america and it's a freedom of religion i should be able to wear this publicly and i would like to celebrate ramadan properly and i'm i really it's not that Christianity was horrible to me. It's just I've read so much of it that it contradicted itself so much to the point where I could not read it. It was like one scripture was saying the opposite of another scripture.
And that's supposed to be blasphemy in the Christianity. And I'm, I'm telling you, I know the context. Like I know the Christian Bible more than the church. The Christian Bible says the church is in the house. And they don't teach that in church because they don't want you to worship in your house. They want you to go somewhere, spend your money, et cetera. I just wanted yeah. to give you an insight of as an Christian and my personal experience and let you know that what you're doing is for good. And I love what you're doing. And even if this wasn't an argument, I just I just wanted to be a part of this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For no, no, I appreciate it, that what you're saying is good is because like it teaches other people as well is like. Uh, and, and I think it's an example even for, for Muslim women because there's a lot of Muslim women who, who like they do not understand the value of the hijab they do not understand the value of the niqab so when they see a sister yeah when they see a sister who's not yet a Muslim who's going to be very soon you know <laughs> from, from my perspective so wearing, wearing the niqab and appreciating it and praising it and saying it's beauty and the modesty in it and, and that she would uh, she wouldn't care what people how people view her outside I think that is a lesson for a lot of these Muslim women, women watching so, so you might think that you're just coming on is just basically you coming on. No, I think it's a it's a very good thing. It's a, it can be a lesson for a lot of people. But when it comes to the idea of like the sons and, and daughters of God, under the Christian view, yes, it does not make any sense to say Jesus is special because he's the son of God. While it literally says that everyone else is the son of God in the same book. And it says that David is the begotten son of God as well, which is another contradiction. So if you read Psalms 2.7, it says that David is the begotten son of God. And then the other verse in John 3.16, says that he's the begotten son as well, the only begotten son. So how can you be the only begotten son when there is a, a, another begotten son before you're, you're even existing in this world, right? So these are all contradictions. Right? God uh, doesn't die uh, in 1 Timothy 6.16. And then you see, they say Jesus is God and he died, right? That's another contradiction that you see. Uh, God is all-knowing, but Jesus is God, but he doesn't know in, in Mark 13, 32. So all of these things, yes, all of these are contradictions. Muslims don't believe though that God has a son. They don't, we don't believe that Allah has a son or daughter or any of that. We believe our relationship with Allah, He created us, we're here, and He sent us guidance through the prophets and the messengers, and we focus on Him, like you said. People focusing on Jesus, not focusing on God, not focusing on who He told you to, think, to focus on. When He was preaching, He said focus on God, He didn't say focus on Him. But people started focusing on Him and making the whole religion about Him. So what you're saying, it's, it's, it's true, it's, and it's sad, as you said. Yeah, they want you to go to the church so you can donate and give them money, and not, nothing about like worshiping God and where the church is. And the modesty, covering your head. I love it. it yeah, <laughs> um, you know what's surprising is that even if you read Corinthians, it says that if a woman doesn't cover her head, it should be shaved. You know, and and that's what the, the Bible itself teaches. You know, so I all of these things like you. The only thing you said stopping you is your family. But I think look, if you're doing something for God, that's the most important thing, right? And you know, we're welcoming we're welcoming you as a sister. We're welcoming yeah. you to Islam. Whenever if you ever feel like you're ready, you want to take that step, you want to become a Muslim, you're always welcome. And I can see you're learning. You're very close there. I can see you're almost there. You know. <laughs> I would even say you're there, you know, but I'll, with the family, okay, don't worry too much. And, and it, as long as you're doing something for God, uh, then know that God will be on your side and you're doing it for him because it's the truth, then you should adopt it and you should accept it, you know? I really love your words. You're the only supporting person that is telling me these things. It's very hard when you don't have support, but I know that you are supportive and that's all I needed to hear. Thank you so much. It's no, trust me. You know, there are, there are like 5,000 people watching now. Most, all of the Muslims are sending, <laughs> sending beautiful things, you know. All of them are saying, this is beautiful. This is nice. May Allah bless her. MashaAllah. All of them are, are happy for you, sister, you know. If, you, if, you're, if you're able to read the comments here, you just look at the comments and read them. And look, they're all saying like beautiful things, you know. Oh. They're, all, they're all saying, MashaAllah. They're all saying they're happy. Look, they're saying we're happy for you uh, to have a sister like you join us in faith, you know. We're praying yeah. for you to become a Muslim soon. All of these are sisters, you know. All of them, they're happy for you, you know. So, so it's not just me, trust me, sister. You got all Muslims are supporting you, inshallah, and on your journey. And always know, look, whenever you want to take the step, we're welcoming you, you know. And we're happy to, anytime, uh, I connect you with people who can teach you, can help you, can mentor you, you know, and, and teach you more and more about Islam. So if you ever feel like you're ready, you want to be, take that step, you're welcome anytime, inshallah. Thank you so much. It was really an honor speaking to you. I'm so no honored to be in this broadcast. <laughs> no problem. I appreciate it. Okay, sister, I'll let you go. Thank and inshallah, we hope to see you soon as a Muslim, inshallah, okay? Thank you. Yeah, see you, sister. Okay, mashallah, that's a, a breath of fresh air, as they say, isn't it?